Hi everyone, I'm Fred, and in this video, I'll show you how to create your first stylized smart material in Substance Painter using only the basic settings and features. We'll make this stylized smart material, and before we start, I've made a free FT smart material for easy use and texturing of stylized models. Just follow the link in the description to my art station and grab the free material now. Let's start creating the material. First, I've set up this empty scene in Substance Painter, and for clarity, I'm using the basic preview sphere available in any version. As you can see, this sphere has some basic metal material, and there are extra lighting settings in the scene that I want to disable for comfort. To do this, I go to display settings and first change the HDR map to a panorama. Next, I want to disable the shadow because it's distracting, but you can make it weaker if you like. Let's also turn off the post effects that cause glares. Now we're ready to create our material. First, I create an empty fill layer to cover our model with a base color. In the material channels, I keep only two active, color and roughness. We name our layer, in this case, base color, to avoid confusion later. For the base color, I'll choose a turquoise shade. And I'll adjust the roughness channel to make the surface a bit shiny. Now we create another fill layer with a black mask. This will be the dirt layer. I also activate only two channels, color and roughness, and immediately make the roughness less shiny because dirt is always dry and matte. Now we add a generator to the black mask. For dirt generation, I use the dirt generator. As you can see, this generator has many settings for creating an interesting dirt pattern. But right now, it doesn't look very stylized. We also add a paint layer to the black mask and mark it as a painting layer. Now let's add the blur slope filter to stylize our dirt. You can further adjust the blur slope for a more interesting result. I just increase the intensity to create more distinct and contrasting dirt spots. Let's add another filter to the black mask. This is the histogram scan. It makes our pattern more contrasting and removes micro detailing. To achieve a cleaner result, you can add levels and fine-tune the result. Now, if we adjust the dirt generator settings, all layers in the black mask above will interact with the dirt generator, creating beautiful effects. Let's change the dirt color to something more natural. I choose a dark brown shade. It looks a bit contrasting now, but we'll return to these settings later. I also name this layer to keep our material organized. Now we create another fill layer and activate the color channel. I apply a black mask to our layer, in which I add a generator. We choose the position generator, which will serve as a vertical gradient for our model. With the generator parameters, you can adjust your generator as needed. I also add levels to the black mask to fine tune our gradient. It should fill only the top part of the model and blend with the base color. The top gradient color should be slightly brighter than the base color. So I use the eyedropper to select the base color and make it a bit brighter, shifting it to a turquoise shade. Let's name this layer top gradient. And similarly, create another fill layer with a black mask and position generator. To create the bottom gradient, I press the invert gradient button in the position generator and add levels to the black mask to adjust the gradient size at the bottom. Now let's set a dark blue cold color for our gradient and fine tune the intensity using levels. I also name the top gradient. Now we create another fill layer with a black mask for the shadow. In the black mask, we need to place the ambient occlusion generator. Let's invert our shadow so it generates in the recesses and further adjust it with the parameters. For more precise adjustment, I add levels to the black mask and fine-tune our shadow. Our shadow should also be cold and dark. I choose shades of blue and name this layer ambient occlusion. Now we need to create a layer with edges for our model. 
We also add a fill layer with a black mask and choose the curvature generator. Using the global balance settings, I make our edges slightly thinner and more contrasting. I also enable the roughness channel and make it a bit shiny. Now let's assign a bright light color to the edges so they glow and serve as highlights. Add a paint layer to the black mask and name it. On this layer, you can edit the generated edges on your model. Your model should usually have edges only in light areas, with less saturation in shadows. With this paint layer, you can manually edit and erase your edges. Don't forget to name our layer and move on to creating a layer for light. The last thing I want to add to our stylized smart material is baked lighting. For this, I create a layer with a mask and add a light generator. Using the generator settings, I adjust the light from below the model and apply a dark color. This layer will add more volume to your stylized texturing. Let's revisit the dirt settings because I don't like how it looks. Using the generator settings, I adjust for a nicer result and apply multiply mode so dirt blends into the main color. I forgot to name the baked lighting layer, so let's fix that and name it right. Our basic stylized material is ready, and now I create a folder for all the layers. You can name this folder whatever you like. Select the folder and click Create Smart Material to save it in Substance Painter and see it on your shelf. To keep the material from getting lost, you can assign it a custom preview. Just add any picture you like. For convenience, you can make this material a favorite to pin it at the top of the list. Now I want to show how our smart material works in action. I'll take my door model and drag our material onto it. First, I want to change the base color to a warmer one for a wood tone. Next, I adjust the top gradient to be warm, matching the main color. Similarly, I adjust the bottom gradient to a cool shade. Let's change the widget color and make them thinner. I also erase some dirt because there's too much now. Our material is fully functional and has flexible settings. You can adjust each parameter for more interesting effects. I hope this video was helpful for you. Be sure to subscribe and like, it motivates me to create new content. Don't forget about our Discord server, where you can ask questions and download materials. This was Fred, wishing you creative success and see you soon.